Welcome to the 2024 Arizona Girls Lacrosse Association All-Star Game, hosted by Desert Vista. Tonight, we celebrate the talent and dedication of our league's top athletes as they take the field for tonight's game. Before we begin, we'd like to extend our gratitude to Desert Vista High School for hosting this event. Let's give a big round of applause for their hospitality and support in putting tonight's game on. We'd also like to take a moment to acknowledge that Mother's Day is this weekend. We extend our heartfelt thanks to all the incredible moms for their love, support, and sacrifice. Lastly, let's take a moment to thank all the coaches and parents who have worked tirelessly to support these talented athletes throughout the season. Thank you for your commitment to developing the next generation of lacrosse AGOA athletes. Now, without further ado, let's meet our all-star teams. Representing the best from the schools across Arizona, these athletes have demonstrated exceptional skills, sportsmanship, and dedication to the game. On the red team, starting with the attack, a senior from Higley, Ashlyn Campbell. A senior from Moro Valley, Kaylee Charters. A junior from Chaparral, Emerson Lewis. A sophomore from Oro Valley, Manny DeSenta. A freshman from Xavier, McKenna Parker. A freshman from South Point, Ariana Jacobs. Moving to the midfield, a senior from Higley, Iris Levin. A senior from Oro Valley, Lorena Filotti. A senior from Corona del Sol, Ella Wombacher. A senior from Horizon, Joey Nichols. A senior from Cactus Shadow, Sam Stipple. A sophomore from Chandler, Tabitha Glue. A sophomore from Desert Vista, Jackie Jimenez. A sophomore from Desert Vista, Olivia Appar. A sophomore from Xavier, Claire McCloskey. And a freshman from Notre Dame, Claire Myers. On the defensive end, a senior from Higley, Hadley DeCampos. A senior from Pinnacle, Kenzie Novak. A junior from Horizon, Gabby Kurtz. A freshman from Xavier, Keegan Packer. In the cage for the red team, we have a sophomore from Chaparral, Sadie Struzik. And a junior from Chandler, Sam Martin. The red team is coached by the Higley coaching staff, led by head coach Whitney Levin. And now, moving on to the white team, a starting on the attack, a senior from Higley, Morgan Landy. A senior from Pinnacle, Brynn Davis. A senior from Pinnacle, Delaney McEwen. A senior from Chaparral, Lexi Sigalai. A junior from Chandler, Ava Witt. A junior from Notre Dame, Sophia Devana Ventura. A sophomore from Corona del Sol, Grace Wombacher. On the defensive end, a senior from Chandler, Kendall Tacey. A senior from Desert Vista, Avery Rogers. A senior from South Point, Isabella Heffernan. 
a sophomore from Cactus Shadows, Ryan Wolfenden. Moving to the midfield, a senior from Chaparral, Reed Whitten. A senior from Chaparral, Delaney Cutter. A senior from Horizon, Alexa Miller. A senior from Horizon, Jolie Nichols. A senior from Xavier, McKenna Boyer. A senior from Pinnacle, Savannah Souza. A senior from Corona del Sol, Jolie Salego. A senior from South Point, Brianna Mitchkey. A junior from Chandler, Sienna Whittington. A sophomore from Desert Vista, Tess Cortez. A freshman from Cactus Shadows, Reese Spencer. And in goal, a senior from Pinnacle, Izzy Schoenberg. And a junior from Corona del Sol, Lexi Huskin. The white team is coached by the Chandler coaching staff, led by head coach, Ellie King. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we ask that you please rise if you're able, and please remove your hats as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Performing today's national anthem, we welcome Red Manny DeSenta, a sophomore attacker from Oro Valley. throughout the game. Let's make this a memorable experience for everyone involved. Also. 
All-Star game. We've got the first five players in the state. They've been divided between Team Red and Team White. Led by those same head coaches that just faced off a week ago. Fareed! Numbers. We do have a roster. Oh. That one is off the post there. Again, we'll just apologize ahead of time to the players and fans watching back if we do catch the wrong name here, but we're going to do our best. match tonight with very shot goal for Team White. Goal White Team! up here in this all-star game playing with some familiar teammates and playing with some teammates that they're used to seeing in the opposite jersey but a lot of these as the official there Warner or has to duck the pass a lot of these uh, players do play together on club though however so really just a small community and a great community here in Arizona playing together Ava Witt driving on the inside and she's got a top shot shot and up to the girl Okay, 
That makes the score two nothing white team. Our game this year as Ava Witt comes that way with this draw control. Looks like maybe Alexa Miller defending there. Side bounce shot deflected. Good chase here on the backside. The player slips on the turf. We've seen that a couple times. As DB turf this season picked up, I believe by Abby Campos looks like defender when you're heading up to you, Indy. Right on the doorstep. Oh, nice. 
Fence holds the cradle but loses it just before she gets a shot off. It looks like she does get fouled. Gonna set Cortese up with an eight meter shot, first inside hash. A nice crash for Team Red there, breaking that up. Deflects the shot out of bounds, backed up. Shot up. Senior from Pinnacle. And that's the end of the first quarter. With the score, white team three, red team two. Attention all fans, get ready to show your support in style. We are thrilled to announce that exclusive all-star shirts are now available for purchase at the entrance to the field. Don't miss out on this opportunity to grab your commemorative shirt for just $20. Hurry up and gear up before they're all gone. See you at the entrance. Attention all attendees, make sure to elevate your game, your game big experience, by exploring our silent auction baskets. Discover an array of exciting items waiting for your bids. From sports memorabilia to luxury goodies, there's something for everyone. Don't miss out on the chance to score big while supporting our league and athletes. Head over to the auction area now and start bidding. Be sure to check out the food truck located right outside the stadium for a game time snack.
seconds, it's time for quarter number two of AGLA All-Star Lacrosse. Opportunity and there it is, shot. Maybe I've been off the right post. Team, Team Red already starting to look a lot tighter here as they set up these attack plays. Goes to Charters. The two man game going, a little give and go, and fires one, low shot again, and not enough. Second assist from Charters to Lewis tonight. Goal by Emerson Lewis from Chaparral. Team Red. 
out of the green and strike. A nice transition.
here going from right to left to protect the ball as we come down to the team red right on the doorstep. by Kaylee Charters from Morrow Valley.
Kaylee Charters will be playing for the University of Alabama Huntsville. Lexi Sagelman for the University of Westminster. Adelina Campos for the University of Indianapolis. And Izzy Schember from McKendry University. Playing Division Three, Alexa Miller playing for Cal Lutheran. And playing for the NGCAA, Jolie Salego from Onondaga Women's Lacrosse. For the class of 2025, playing Division One, Amy Ritt going to Arizona State University. And Sienna Whittington also going to the Arizona State University Sun Devils. Playing Division Two, Emerson Lewis will be heading to the University of Alabama Hospital. Kyla Smith to Dominican University. <laughs> Sophia the Bonaventura to Fort Lewis University. <laughs> and Sam Martin to the University of Indianapolis. <laughs> Fans, don't forget to swing by our silent auction area. Our league programs have curated an impressive selection of baskets filled with fantastic items waiting for your bids. Whether you're a cross fanatic, a gourmet enthusiast, or a golf lover, we've got you covered. So come on over, browse the offerings, and place your bids. You're a winning moment away and set the silent auction. They will conclude at the end of the third quarter. No more bids will be accepted once the fourth quarter starts. So be sure to get your bids in now. And fans, don't forget to get the refreshments at the fruit truck located just outside the main gate. As we kick off the second half, we want to just make a quick announcement that Isabella Jefferson will also be going to Division Three for Norwich University. So fans, let's get ready for quarter number three.
back. Apologies there for the error there with the microphone and the camera, but I save here by Satan Struzik. So get this third quarter going. Save by Satan Struzik from Chaparral. From Elena Fulodi, Oro Valley, getting that ninth goal for Team Red to get things going here on the third. Same by Izzy Shepard from the Pinnacle. Team White. Bring it back down. Nice stop by DeCampos. A little too much, however, she gets called for the foul. Yeah. 
Team Red. Should be noted being led by head coach Rick Razek. Who I'm sure would love to get the win here tonight. Across the championship loss on the other side of the field. Led by head coach Kelly King from Chandler. Of course, at the spectacular season, undefeated 14 and 9. White swings the field. Oh, had a great work. But with the high stick and knockdown. Kenzie Novak, I believe, there on Team Red. Getting the stick up there and making the big defensive play. And of course, Novak had an outstanding season as a defender, leading the league and cause turnovers, and you can see why in that play. Nice look inside, almost impossible to stop that as a goalie and get such a win.
The third quarter of play with the score. Red team 11, white team 7. Hey there, fans and proud parents alike. Get ready to represent with our exclusive all-star shirts. Now available for purchase right by the field entrance for just $20. You can snag your very own shirt and show your support in style. Be sure to stick around following the game for our Arizona Girls Lacrosse Association Award Ceremony. We'll be recognizing our first and second team all state selections, player of the year winners, amongst other league awards. As a reminder, run down and make your final bid for the auctions because the auction does close at the beginning of the fourth quarter. So run down now and make your final bid. Fans, let's get ready for quarter number four. Stick check call. 
Iris Levitt. Team Red. Pursuing them all the way to that line, so important. You never know, especially as turf girls, balls like to stop throwing. Pick up here. Give me a little direction, Team White. Shoots one more save by Hoskin. Three seconds on the clock. Great save by Lucy Hoskin. And that is relation play with the score. Red team 16, white team 
It was an interception by Kenzie Novak to close out the regulation time frame. Fans, remember, we have a bonus time period of 10 minutes where the athletes will continue the tradition of the AGMA All-Star Game by having some fun. So we're not going to keep track of the score, we're not going to keep track of the goals, but let the players enjoy themselves. And for 10 minutes, have a good time. But let's hear one more round of applause for all the players in tonight's game. Fans, it's ready for bonus time. Can we see a game score? Maybe a defenseman or two. Some 50 yard passes. Let's go, guys. Have a good time.
they add style points there, so like a minus two for two events. After watching the uh, NCAA tournament game earlier today between UNC and Florida, I have to say this lacrosse is a lot better. Like, it's just so much more interesting to watch. Yeah, sure. As the team's heading off the field. 
Starting with our Arizona Girls Lacrosse League Awards, these awards are nomination-based awards that are voted on by the AGLA Coaches Organization each year and include the Honor Game Award, the Grow Game Award, Sportswoman of the Year, and Coach of the Year Awards. The AGLA Honor of the Game Award recognizes a team that embodies the spirit of lacrosse, sportsmanship, and teamwork, exemplifying the best aspects of the game. This year's Honor of the Game Award goes to a team that has played with passion all season and has shown respect for their opponents, coaches, teammates, and officials. Their coaching staff has created a team culture that champions resilience, grit, and respect both on and off the field, representing the game and our league in a positive light. Please join us in congratulating our 2024 Honor Game Award winner, Notre Dame Prep. The AGLA Grow the Game Award recognizes an individual or organization in the lacrosse community making efforts to grow the sport in the state of Arizona. Examples could be clinics, mentorship, teaching, assisting, etc. This year's Grow the Game Award recipient provides training and recruiting resources to girls all over Arizona, growing the game by leveling up the talent in our state and league. They offer individual, small group, and team training that combines both lacrosse and mental skills to help athletes in all stages reach their goals, whether it be at their varsity team or commit to play the Vision One Lacrosse in college. This year's Grow the Game Award goes to Peak 180 Lacrosse. The AGLA Sportswoman of the Year Award recognizes a player in the league that puts the integrity of the sport ahead of personal gain or glory. This person goes above and beyond, on and off the field, and is someone their peers look up to. Our 2024 Sportswoman of the Year is an athlete who has embodied the ideal teammate a player coach would inspire to have on their team. She is honest, loyal humble, and always gives 110% on the field with zero quit mentality. This athlete has, athlete has grown significantly over the four years she's been playing, starting on her JV as a freshman year and growing to be a senior captain for her team who's going to play Division I lacrosse at the University of Rhode Island next year. Our 2024 Sportswoman of the Year is a senior from Chaparral, Reed. The AGLA Coach of the Year Award recognizes a head coach who exemplifies the ideals of lacrosse and their overall coaching performance and contributions. Our 2024 Coach of the Year has stepped up in numerous ways over the past few years. This individual leads with poise, care, and a love for the game. They are constantly striving to grow as a coach, being a student of the game on and off the field, always asking questions, and learning to be the best coach they could be. In their first season as a varsity head coach this year, they led their team to the AGLA semifinals with an 11-2 record and instilled the culture of excellence in its athletes. This year's Coach of the Year award goes to Reggie Younger from Michael.
hands as he makes his way out of the field. Let's hear it one more time to Ricky Younger from Pinnacle. We will present our 2024 AGLA All-State Teams. These athletes were selected by the coaches for their outstanding play in the 2024 season. First up is a freshman from Xavier, McKenna Packer. Next is a senior from Higley, Ashlyn Campbell. Next, the freshman from South Point, Ariana Jacobs. Rounding up our second team All-State Attack is a senior from Chaparral, Lexi Sagalai! Moving on to our second team All-State midfielders. First up is a sophomore from Desert Vista, Olivia Oppar. Next is a senior from Pinnacle, Savannah Sousa! Next, a senior from Horizon, Jolie Nichols! Next, a sophomore from Xavier, Claire McCloskey!
Next, a senior from Cactus Shadow, Samantha Stifle. Here's a senior from Oro Valley, Kaylee Charter. 
Moving on to our, to our first, first team, team All-State midfielders. First up is a sophomore from Chandler, Taylor! Now, 
now, we will recognize our 2024 Players of the Year. These award winners were voted on by all AGLA varsity head coaches and have been awarded these honors based on their outstanding performance this season. Our 2024 Attacker of the Year totaled 123 points, dominating on the offensive end in the draw circle. She's stepped into a leadership role in her team this year, and not only was a threat as a one-on-one -on -one Dodger with 67 goals, but she facilitated a lot of goals for her teammates by tallying 56 feeds this past season. She led her team to their first AGLA state championship this year and is committed to play Division I lacrosse at Arizona State University. Our 2024 Arizona Girls Lacrosse Association Attacker of the Year is a junior from Chandler, Ava! She also ranked third in the league in draw controls with 81 on the season. This athlete was a critical player in the midfield for her team, not only dominating on the draw circle, but also on the defensive end with 30 ground balls and 33 cause turnovers. Our 2024 AGLA Midfielder of the Year is a sophomore from Desert Vista, Jackie She ended the regular season with 19 ground balls, 10 cause turnovers, and 24 draw controls. She shut down multiple key matchups throughout the season and served as the cornerstone for her team's defensive unit. In addition, she is committed to playing D2 lacrosse next year at the University of Indianapolis. Please join me in congratulating our 2024 Defender of the Year from Higley, Hadley! Our 2024 Goalie of the Year was second in the league with 135 saves over the 2024 season in a 53% save average. She also tallied seven ground balls and made some epic saves in key wins for her team this season. Our 2024 Goalie of the Year is a sophomore from Chaparral, Sadie!